All right. So where were we? So. A lovely sunset. Apparently I finished towards the end of the day, which is odd for me. I usually sleep through the last night and then uh, get on with things like, you know, like save it there so I can start a brand new day. Uh, let's see. I have an empty beer bottle. I guess I should sell that. I have a load of dried meat. I think I was actually going to go and uh, get some money. Or was I just going to stack this up? 70 dried meat in here as well. We've got a load of dried meat. Let's put the bottle in here. Go in here? It won't go in here. Oh god, what did I just do? There we go. Got a bunch of empty bottles. I'm apparently really gross and dirty. I think one of the things we were going to do this session is worry more about um, getting decorations for people. Because look, people are just standing around in the evening. I want them to have benches to sit on. I want them to have, like, um, you know, stuff in their yards, basically, and work on getting their yards done. And we need washing basins so I don't have to run to the river and submerge myself all the time. But we were working on the fencing, which I think is coming along quite nice. We've got these houses to finish. I do have some stone in my inventory. I have a stone in my inventory. Okay. Well, I will go and put it in this wall. Bonk. Are there literally just three stones sitting around? Oh, I'm forgetting all the buttons already. Three stones. I just need three stones. And then I can just finish that wall and be done with it. There's probably loads over here somewhere. It usually is. There we go, I see a couple of rocks. Let's make an open outdoor bath, uh, just chilling in the middle of the town, naked. You never know. We could do that, maybe. Although, they're more like just as... You know, like the old, like, um, water basins that people used to do, like, do their laundry in? They look more like that. They're basically, um, this. So it's not very big. It's big enough to dunk your head into, maybe. There we go. A wall is done. This house is almost done. And we were also going to remodel this house, right? That's right. So I've set all these... Yes, because I was demoing how this works to somebody. That's right. Well, I'll worry about this later. This was uh, my character's wife's former house. Now she's moved in with us. These were new houses we were just building. And these are the only houses that are inhabited apart from my wife's house, if I'm not mistaken. So we only have five people in the town uh, total. I want to get somebody in the kitchen making food for us. That would be nice. I won't have to do all that. But it's not the uh, Witcher first cutscene kind of basin. No, it's not that type. Or the one in The Witcher 2 with Triss when they were in the uh, the underground elven bathhouse thing. And they just had a full-blown sex scene and I was sat there like... Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I'm streaming this. What? Yeah, but it's fine. It's not on Twitch's band list, so, you know. Oh, excellent. I did fill all of the compost bins. Oh, right, and we also have the um, sewing hut foundation. We need that, but it's not a priority. Mainly because we need a type of crop, black seed in particular, to make... Um, uh, make linen cloth, linen thread or whatever. Do we have any flax seed in here? I have a bunch of unripe berries still. I have some extra and a little bit of rot left. But we probably have tons and tons of fertilizer. Actually, doesn't seem as though we do. That's making me wonder, did we get to fertilize all the fields? In my brain, we should have had more than enough. 
Oh, is it in here? Not in the barn. I think it's in here. There it is, 80. We've got loads. We're, we're way ahead of the game on fertilizer, so... Next on streaming list, Honey Pop. No. <laughs> nope, not Honey Pop. None of the Sakura games. Not Neko Para. No. Booty Call, forget it. Not playing any of those. Not playing Negligee or any of these other H games that just show up on my Steam list every now and then. They just keep filling up on the recommended list and it's like, what have I played that is making you recommend this to me? <laughs> it's just there. It's like, you might well be interested in this and I'm like, why? Because I have a penis? Hmm. Okay. Interesting selection criteria. Okay, I also have a wife. And I have a streaming career. <laughs> career. Um, yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> really, uh... Enthusiastic to get started on the day there. Oh no, it's raining! How are you? Hello, wifey. How's it going? Um, so. What's on your mind? Today might be the busiest day I've ever had in my life. I have so much work to do, I can hardly see straight. Isn't it amazing? Be well, my love. Who says that, really? Who says that? Be well, my love. What is this demolition, man? Be well indeed. Maybe you have Lav in your friend list and she's recommending these games. Oh, probably, yeah. So, apparently my wife says she has tons of work to do. This is her work, and it's done. And she doesn't need to touch it again until this stuff grows. I don't know what work she thinks she has. That's a good point. Did we have sickles? I did buy a couple of sickles, didn't I? It's been two weeks since we played this game and I've lost track. Yes, six of them. Okay, cool. And we have four knives, three axes. Um, we do not, however, have any picks, but I made a few picks. I remember we ran out of picks. Hmm. Hmm, that's worrying. we have a nice stockpile of picks. Telling them to make one pickaxe a day. What do they need on a daily basis? They need one point for... So we'll say, don't use more than the last two logs, don't use more than 19 sticks, and don't use more than 11 stones in a day. But apparently, that's it. Everything else gets used, so... And they're going to make themselves, like, you know, 13% of a hammer every day, so... Because if they seem to not go through hammers very much... Okay, well, we were going to sell a bunch of stuff. So we may as well crack on with that. Um, I'm going to sell these buckets. I'm going to sell these bags. It's crate. Get these old bottles out of the way. I'm just, I don't know why I even have these. Uh, old bottles. Get those sold. And we're basically at full weight. I need a bigger backpack. That's what I need. In that case... Oh, there's tons of quests here still. We only have a couple of days left to get them. And there's just there and borrow. Whoa, 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 whoa. But I need to go to... If I want a bigger backpack, I could go to Denica and buy one. We've paid our taxes, but you know what? We're gonna go to Gustovia. We'll head over that way. Do I need, <laughs> before I go, there's always one thing, right? Oh, wait, before I go, do I need a um, grocery list? Oh my God, these apples are rotting. I'm just gonna take them with me, eat them on the road. I waste them. There's a beer bottle in here? Why is there a beer bottle in here? We have quite a few cabbages and carrots, lots of meat. These morals are about to 
go funky. So, and we can get morals because it's spring. They're, they grow everywhere in the spring. Onions! I need onions. Okay, we'll go get some onions. Ah, we're out. <laughs> Gustovia sounds like a vampire city. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It's very Eastern European, though, I find this game. Like, the themes of the names and stuff, they're very, very, like, that way. Like old Bohemia or something. It does always make me want to play Kingdom Come Deliverance as well. See, look, there's some morals, but we can't use them. We can make scrambled egg with them, but we don't have the cooking technology points for that yet. So, ain't that a gas? So in terms of the people we need for the town, what do we need? We need a cook, I think, next, and a fisher. We need those two jobs filling. They're the only two jobs we have. The sewing hut, I just put the template down so that I've reserved a space for it. But other than, I don't really feel the need to make it yet. We don't have any... I, I was looking for flaxseed and I stopped looking. Um, but we'll have a look in the farmer's shop. I want to see what season you can grow the flax seed. If it's spring, we're fucked, because we only have a couple of days of spring left, and I don't think that uh, my wife character can clear the land and make the field and stuff in that much time to plant a bunch of flax seed. But if we can, that might be interesting. Because then you basically, you thresh the flax seed to get the seed out, you can use in flour milling, but you should really save it to plant more. And then you take the stalks, uh, the flax stalks, and you put them in the um, the sewing hut and make them. They can turn them into thread. So yeah, I only played Kingdom Kingdom Come Deliverance once. Ate too much, couldn't run, died. A cautionary tale for the ages right there. <laughs> yeah, that game is difficult in some respects, but it's also good. It's the right kind of difficulty. Uh, the combat system I found was a little bit weird though, especially with a mouse and keyboard. I know they modified it in the time since I've played it. I played it when it came out as well. And I played it for a good long while, but I think they also did some updates like about a year later, I want to say, or within the year, towards the end of the year later. Okay, somebody is having problems as well. Sewing hut? Nope, that won't be. I got a feeling the excavation shed doesn't have any tools. Man! Okay, um, production. They can't be going through a pickaxe every day though, surely not. Surely not. Can I see how far along they are from making a pick? There. They're close. They're close. They're finishing a pick. So, ideally, by the end of today, they should be there again. I'm going to ignore the warning message about no picks, and I just want to see if we've, we're making enough to get ahead of the game, but it means that we're not going to get any extraction. Oh, if that's the case, then all the other production's gonna freeze up. Fuck. Uh, okay, one moment. Oh god, this is when the running the town part gets less mellow and more stressful. <laughs> um, where do I find what I want? I look in storage. Source storage. Do we have loads of stone already? We got 34 stone, we're fine. Okay, I'm not gonna worry. Oh, look at these dudes, by the way. I did. Um, we have hunting and trading. Hunting and fishing. Wittemir. So he could be my fisherman. <clears throat> I don't really need anybody doing any uh, any hunting right now. Stressful mellow, yes. It's a stressful kind of mellow. What's up, Edwin? Tell me, Edwin, what is war good for? 
My wares never disappoint. And while we're at it, you can buy all this crap off me. Yeah. Uh, have some daisies and dandelions. Very good for you, I'm told, but I'm not going to eat them. Nine simple bags. Some St. John's wort, for whatever reason I'm carrying that around, I don't know. Wicker crate. We looted that. That was from the... Uh, oh my god, I have to go back. I have to go back to the site where we killed the um, the bandits on the road to Baranica and see if they're still falling from the sky. <laughs> that was crazy. It was literally raining men. Okay, while we're here then, uh, let us see. Flax seeds. Spring. Mm. Okay. Oh, bang, 25, perfect. See, I knew that was where the 25 was. I like it when it rains men, free daddy for everyone. <laughs> Well, these are dead daddies, so you need to be, you need to have a particular kink, I think. I'm gonna buy all of his onions as well. He'll have more onions on him than... What is it? I mean, the other thing is as well, we could just buy flax stock. 7.5 each, but we could buy it. So that's what we need to make the thread. Flax is what you get when you harvest, and then you thresh it and you get seeds and stalks. So... Goodbye. Alright, good boy. Good boy. Speaking of which, what have we got next? Speak to Unagost. Oh, that's right! Walrad wanted us to speak to Unagost after he conned us into thinking we wanted a thousand logs, and I was like, you're joking, right? And he's like, yeah, I'm pulling your leg. Uh, we still need to talk to Alwyn. We have 15 years yes to, left to do that. 17 years left to do Unagosts. Um, yes, we need to ask him about Kestrel. I'm not going to do that today. We have a lot to do. So I think I'll wait till summer, and then I'll ask him about Kestrel. The final member of their little group. Whatever they were called. Everybody has a different name for it. <clears throat> Oh, I was going to look at quests. Yeah. See, I have the memory span of a housefly. I'm fine. Okay, there's a quest at the tavern. What's going on here, Dobrodongia? How's life treating you? Uh, yeah. No, wait have a minute. A oh, it wasn't her. What? Oh, it's this guy. Hello, how are you? <clears throat> um, can I help you with something? You look really down, dude. Do you happen to have any seeds with you? I'm making a little garden for myself and I could use some. I'll let you know if I have any to spare. That would be grateful. What does he want? Do, 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 do. Two cabbage and two beet seeds and he'll give me two oat grain for it. Literally, my man. There is a man up here who sells those. How can I help you? Hi, Edwin. I'm my back. Never this is weird. Just bear with me. Guy wants literally two of those and two of those. Have a good day. Yeah, I'll try. Oh, we've got the hunting uh, chapter to do as well. We need to hunt down. Well, we need to get a bow first, so I need to go and make one. Here you go, that was nice and quick. Is this what you were looking for? Wonderful! I'll add them to my garden right away, thank you! Here, take these coins and a few spare seeds I had. Cool. I mean, that was free money. Why would I not do that? But yeah, we need to make a bow, we need to hunt a moose, a vicent, which is a bison, and a bear. Dalamir, What's up? You look like a reliable fighter. Could you help? What's going on? At night, we hear horrible howls and can barely sleep. Would you get rid of the wolves for us? No. I tried attacking a wolf once and three others came and fucked my shit up. I am not trying that. Hello. 
I need your help. Last night there was a terrible storm that destroyed our house. <gasps> Could you help us gather resources and rebuild it? All right, what do you need? That's going to be easy enough, I bet. 20 logs, 13 stones. I can come back tomorrow with those, then. Wolves are werewolves. Hopefully just wolves, because... I don't know if this game's had any updates in that regard. <laughs> if it has, news to me. Uh, yeah. Well, there's only two days left in spring, so I need to do that quest, like, lickety-split. It will expire this season. This is the problem. It should be not... Um, I get why they have things based on a seasonal rotation in this game. You know, like, every season things refresh. New things spawn, resources change, and so on. But once you've accepted a quest, surely they... I mean, if they can make it so that some of the quests have X amount of years on them, they can make it so that you have X amount of days for a quest. But then again, you can customize the length of the seasons, you know? So if, I, if it's like, they're going to give you 10 days, and by default, that would be like you've got nearly a year to do the whole damn thing, right? Because it's like three days, I think, originally per season. Which I think is really short and you know so it's like two days short of a full year but it's still only 10 days in the game 10 rotations of the sun so to speak but then you go well I'm gonna give myself 10 days in a season then you've got a whole season to do it I don't know it's how do they balance that, I guess, is the problem. So maybe that's probably why they go with the seasons, right? But I, I still feel like being able to have a quest give you a minimum amount of days shouldn't really matter. They should just let it roll over into another season. I should have until, like, mid-spring to help him with... Uh, mid-summer to help him with that. And I'd also like to know the quest objectives specifically, not just the abstract. Okay, so I think they were over here, weren't they? They've probably despawned now anyway, but we'll have a look. I'd have actually respawned for all I know, so I'm gonna get my bow out. And one of them ate my copper arrow. I can't believe it. I'm so bitter about that still. Okay, there's the camp. Not see people falling from the sky or otherwise. Okay, I guess it fixed itself. Probably with the restart in the game. But yeah, like, other than being given an abstract of, ah, oh, I, I need help. We, we need some food for my family because things have come up short this year and it's like, okay, cool, I'll get you some food. This one particular quest I avoid whenever I see that line because I know what they're going to ask me for. They're going to ask me for fish fillets. Oh god, what did I just do? I did not even look because that food was rotting. And I'm like, oh, I'll eat them before they go completely bad. I just poisoned myself. I just ate poison apples. Oh, good gravy, no. Um, St. John's what? Quickly. No, St. John's what? Quickly. Hey, Miss Prague, winning. Um, winning at poisoning myself. I just gobbled down four apples without really looking at how poisonous they were because they were old and getting rotty. But thankfully, St. John's Wart removes 20% of poison. So I'm just going to eat all of those that I picked up. And I'm good! <laughs> How are you today? Nice to see you. Now Wolf falls asleep and needs to wait for a prince's kiss to wake up. I know! Oh my god. Sleeping Wolfie. <laughs> my grandma, what big teeth you have! <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, if the prince shows up in a red hood, we've just fucked up all the storylines of every single fairy tale ever made. Wow. Are we still the original chief or a descendant? We're still the original for now. Uh, this is only year two. Um, we're on the second spring. It takes a long time to go through stuff in this game. 
it's going to be a long way before we get to an original descendant but i'm i'm running uh seasons seven days per season like so you can customize that uh you can go in here and say i want to have seven days per season or, or all the way up to 30. you can make a season be a whole year a whole year whole month sorry so it can take a while Gotta wonder with the eating habits, I know, right? It's like, so have you died yet? No. How have you not died yet? <laughs> Honestly, we have a we have a pool running to see when you die, and we're all surprised you're still alive. Like, me too. <laughs> but I have to hunt a bear. If you look over on the quest objectives over there, I have to hunt a bear. So yeah. But to get back to the quest I was talking about, yeah, when I see somebody saying we need to I need you to help me feed my family, I walk away because they're like, we need fish fillets. And that means you need a fisherman's hut, which you don't get access to at the beginning of the game, but I can get that quest dropped on me at the beginning of the game. And then I take the quest and it's like, I need something I cannot actually get for you. Not unless I go and buy it, and I don't have the money to do that. And I don't know where. I, I've never seen anybody sell fish fillets, but you have to fillet a fish, you know, um, in the fisherman's hut in order to make it. So, yeah. Oh, okay, also, I think she finally has her, um... Where is it? Extraction... As a tool, finally. Good. So, this time tomorrow, we'll see if she's still on that same tool, and the new tool gets put into her inventory. How long is an in-game time, like a 24-hour game, or how much real time? Uh, 24 hours in the game takes about, I find, an hour, roughly, uh, 30... Actually, no, it's probably not even that. Um, gotta do the head math here real quick. It's more like 40 minutes. 40 minutes for a full day to pass. And you sleep through the night if you want, so... that That's with sleeping. Usually my character will go to bed sometime... Oh god, I'm punching things. Uh, sometime around, um, like, 10 p.m. And wake up at, like, 7. And then from there, it's, like, 40 minutes. So I guess maybe a full day would take about an hour, roughly. Yeah. Uh, we need to eat, because those apples did not help me at all. I have actually got some potage. I will eat that. And that's the last of my food. You know what I need to do real quick as well, I guess? Um, before I go make any food in here... I'm going to need... Plot out this new farm, because I've decided we're gonna grow some flax. And therefore I can build my sewing hut. Where are we gonna put the flax garden, I wonder? So this is our food garden over here. And we're going to grow 25 flax. I feel like I could do it from down here, maybe? There's going to be a fence there, though. So I'm going to... 3, 4, 5, that, 2... See, I can count. Anyway, um... <laughs> Right, let's do some farm management. To now configure said farm. Farm 5, custom name is Flax. It will have plant type Flax. Boom, there we go. Accept those changes. And here she comes. Okay, wifey, you said you had lots of work to do today even though you don't. So I've given you some. You're welcome. <laughs> she said she was excited about it, so I'm actually helping. Is my personal reasoning right there. And I'll stick all those in there, along with the oat grains. Oat grains can be turned into oatmeal as well. I don't think we can make that yet. I don't know how to make oatmeal. We need a uh, bigger backpack, though, as well. I gotta get the, the really big size one. This is only a 10... I think there's one that can give you like 25 
a kilogram extra weight limit. Hmm. Happy lurking. Thank you for the lurk as always. Have a good day. Okay, we should probably crack on with doing some stuff as well. I'm going to take 50 sticks with me. And I'm going to take 18 stones. Work on those houses. And we'll start getting um, a few other things made as well. Like these fences and so on. I can finish this house. Boom! Yay! Okay, that's a house done. Do the other wall over here. This only needs six stones because it's a window wall. Okay. And we'll work on these fences. Let's do this one. Wow, the placement of that is not great, but I think I did that intentionally so I didn't cut off this corner, right? really dig this radio channel. The music I'm running, in case people are wondering, is a radio channel called Game Chops. And they do these remixes of classic, you know, video game soundtracks, like from Legend of Zelda or Mega Man or whatever, right? And they're all, like, you know, DMCA free, royalty free, uh, copyright no worries, nothing of the sort. So they're all free to use specifically for content creators. So I like using them, I think they're really good. Okay, next thing we're gonna need as well, I think. Again, decorations. What do we need for benches? Uh, seating. Log bench costs 500. Ooh, yay. And a wooden bench is just four planks. We don't know how to make that. 500, and we've got 561 in the bank. Well, whatever. I've got tons in my house. I'll buy that. So we need two logs for log benches. So maybe if I go and get, like, eight logs and stick a bench in people's front yards, I guess, might be a good idea. Let's do ten, actually. Yeah. So we want to decorate the place now and give people some places to sit during the day during the evening when they're done with work. Um, I want to put this maybe like this so there's a bit of a space behind it. I don't want people getting stuck in there you see so we're gonna have a couple. This is the, this is the fancy house. Down here, in the other habitated houses. Habitated? Inhabited? This, these people have got a load of, uh, load of stuff, actually. <laughs> Maybe we put it on the path? I don't know. But they've got a load of this crap. And I bet if I put a log bench there, it won't get rid of it. Um, so maybe they get a nice little, like, shady nook. There we go. Three benches made. Oh, these guys haven't got a fenced area yet, either. That's okay. Put one there, under the eaves. And we have space for one more bench. So I guess we can put it over here with this house that's almost gonna be done. Then again, this one is done. Apart from the fence, so we can put a bench perhaps here. Five. There we go. And what else can we make to give people a nicer place? Six planks for wash tubs. Okay, if I want to make like at least four of those, that's 24 planks. So that's 
12 logs. It's so nice not having to actually go out and do all this. Like all the log chopping and stuff. But I do need to make the planks. Excuse me, Ludomira. Just need to use this real quick. You don't need to walk away too far, but you probably will, you know, walk into the woods, I guess. And... Yep, there she goes. She's like, fine. I'm out. Peace. Okay, fine, whatever. You, uh, you do you. I will build a wash tub for us, and this will go over here, corner. Maybe it'll just go kind of here. Yeah, just here will do. We need to fill these up. And you'd think they'd fill up with the rain, right? No. <laughs> no. No, they don't. The wash tub there. And because I suck at math... I can only make two. Twelve logs? <laughs> nope, that's ten. I can count. Boy. Wait, hang on. No, I don't suck at math. Why wouldn't it let me place more? The thing went red. Oh, because I bothered it over the pathway where you can't build them. I was like, what? You can no longer build anymore? I have resources for them. See, when it goes red like that, I thought to myself, oh, I don't have the resources to build it. Uh, right, these guys are going to get a wash basin probably around the back of the house here. A bit of privacy for them. Um, since these guys only have a small yard, they can have the same. Just around the back. There we go. What's up, dude? How's it going, Sam Ghost? So, heard anything interesting lately? Hornica, you should go there. Supposedly there's someone in need of your assistance. No, because that's a long way to go, and there are wolves between me and there, and I'm not doing that. Mm -mm. Nope. Don't feel like getting chewed on by wolves. So what do we need to get together for the house rebuilding? Oh my god, I forgot. Yeah, I should have conserved some of these resources. 20 logs and some stone. 13 stones. What? Get chewed on by wolves. Feed them laughing face. <laughs> you just want to see that. <clears throat> oh, thank you very much, Dayoshi Okami, for that prime resub. That's awesome. 20 months. Dude, what are you doing with your life? <laughs> Appreciate the support. Come on in. How is it going? See, look, now people sit down in the yards. Which I think is really cool. But, yeah, I needed 20 logs. Got 23. This is, oh, way too heavy. I'm not going to be able to take 20 logs to him in one go, am I? Can I take 10 logs at the very least? It's going to be slow going. So I may be able to deliver them in batches. Hopefully. Otherwise, how the hell are you supposed to do this? But that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, what foods do we have available in here? We have three meats with gravy. I'm going to take two of those. Some mushroom soup left. These mushrooms then, I guess, need to come out and not be food. I don't want people eating those because they're going to go and, uh, and rot very soon. I will put them in here. Thankfully, putting food that rots in a container with other food doesn't make that food rot. Oh man, my iron axe is nearly gone as well. Look, 17.2%. Cool. 
going okay. Uh, just waiting for the wolf attack. No! Well, we got asked earlier on by a guy in town if we would go and kill some wolves for him. I was like, no, not doing it, because they're in packs and they're hard to kill. And I won't do it until I have some armor. Thank you very much. And I'm not really sure what kind of armor you can make in this game. You can't make, like, plate armor and shit, but I think you can get chainmail and, like, padded surcoats and stuff. So, yeah, I'd need those, and I'd need an actual weapon. Possibly, like, an iron spear or something. Okay, so things are coming along. Other thing I want to do... I, I would like to get this as well, lighting. This is why I'm thinking about linen. You know, why I need to get linen production going. <clears throat> I could go and buy linen, but then I can start building lighting and so on. And linen thread is useful for making bows and that kind of thing, so... Yeah. Let's have a look. How did this go? She's fertilized most of the field. She just hasn't done the last of it. I wonder why. And it's not plowed out yet. If she can do that tomorrow... And then plant the flax seed on the last day of spring. <laughs> Get it just in time, and then it will go boop, and it will be at the first growth stage the very next day. So that's pretty cool. I don't really know how long any of these crops take to grow. I've never played the game long enough to actually, you know, see a crop harvest, and usually I get my farms way later. But then we can build in here our sewing hut. Our little industrial section. Let's just see, there's 66 of that left. There are nine simple bags in there, so that's good. Like, I don't want... I, those are the bags that she needs to use to do the fertilizer, so... There's a beer bottle in here and a mead bottle. What are you doing in here? How are there so many of them? Where have they come from? I'm confused now. In terms of everything else, oh, and there's the water skin we looted. Wine bottles. These need to get sold. Let's go put them out here. Put them in the crates, or the barrels, rather. These are my export barrels, so I, uh, I put stuff in these that I'm planning to sell. Keep it all out of our common inventory. Otherwise, people will use it. So people will eat the dried meat, you know, and that kind of thing. Not planning to sell those, I just wanted to move them out of the uh, food storage, because by the end of tomorrow they're going to rot. Okay. Cool. Oh, it's so heavy though, carrying so much shit. Alright, yeah, so like I was looking, one of the other things I want to build in people's front yards is the stone campfire. It needs 12 stones, 6 firewood, and then they'll light the fires at night as well. So that's another thing I want to do today if I can. That's going to involve us running around and grabbing up a whole bunch of stone, rather than using the stuff the extraction shed is pulling out. Oh, sorry, am I in your way? I do apologize. I mean, I was just standing there, but, you know, you play through. Um... Put a table in people's front yards as well for whatever, just for decorative reasons. It's interesting that I can make wooden buckets and washing basins, but I don't know yet how to make a flower pot out of wood. But I can do it for I can do it with clay. Clay, no problem. And stone. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, and just populate their front yards with things like bundles and sacks and barrels and stuff. Would like to make a scarecrow to go in the field. I don't know if it's just decorative or... Yeah, it just it says a type of furniture and provides aesthetic value. So the more of this stuff you have in the town, the happier people are. So... Yeah. 
Yeah. So we've got a few things we need to do decorations-wise, and we can decorate the interiors of people's houses as well, eventually. I need to go and get the resources for those. Okay. Lovely day. Eat my breakfast of steak and gravy. Um... I can't really carry anything else. We're gonna have to run back to um, kind of slow walk back to Gustovia. Hopefully, Flax Farm will be up and running by the time we've done this, but this guy needs 20 logs and 13 stone. I have 10 logs in my inventory, which is why I'm moving so slow, and 13 stone. The second run will be quicker because we won't have the stone as well. Then when we come back... I might take a trip. I don't even know. I'll have to pull some silver out of my house, but I'll take a trip up to... Enica and go to the sewing place and buy myself a bigger backpack so that I can carry heavier loads, because we're getting into big-scale production now. One thing I want to do is get somebody working in the workshop, and then they can start making wicker baskets, like a few, uh, like one a day or something, and they could make a bucket a day, which means I need to tell the, um, the lumberjack to start making planks. But then after a few days, you know, I can go and collect those and go sell them. Leaves me free then to go do more quests and just explore in general and do the trading aspect. You know. so that's basically what I will be. I will be the traveling salesman. I sell our town's wares for money. What is the temperature like? 18 degrees? I don't think we need to have the hood on anymore, do we? How do I um, unequip that? Though? Hmm. Okay, we're wearing good stuff. Almost summer. And warm. Same here. In nice weather. Actually, um, when was it now? Saturday, after the stream, I went down to the storage cage in the parking garage uh, that we have. Like, our, well, my wife's parking stall has a cage up against the back wall. Um, every, everyone's got one. You know, if you've got a space down in the parkade under the building, you have a storage cage with it. So we, um, you know, we use it and put a bunch of stuff in there. And over winter, we stored the cushions for the, uh, the, the bench swing that we have out on the balcony. So I went down and got the cushions for it, and set them up. I haven't sat out there yet. In fact, today, uh, I'm not going to have time for that either, just to kind of chill, because I've got so much to do. And then Shy's... Uh, after work, Shy has um, uh, this thing with work. They, they've done their tax season now, because it's the tax accountants. So they finished tax season. Uh, officially today is the, the is the deadline for like filing, so all their clients' filing should be done by the end of today, and that's it. People can come and pick their paperwork up at their leisure, but you know um, they'll be officially done with tax season. So all the number crunching is done and dusted and in and finished. You know, and they've had way more people requesting them to do their taxes than they had last year been like dozens of extra clients compared to last year's number. They had over like 1,100 clients this year. A lot of people. A lot of math. So to celebrate, end of tax season, uh, they're going to the local brew house, which is like a chain restaurant, a uh, Canadian brew house. They're going there uh, for like drinks. And at first we thought it was just, you know, worker only, like, you know, office worker only. It's just for staff. Um, no, no plus ones or anything like that. They did it last year. So when I arrived here last year from England, I, Shy was already beginning at the beginning of overtime, and then it finished, and then I went down uh, to the bar where they were having it, plus ones could go. 
Turns out, she's texted me this morning after she got to work, that one of the people at the office who organised this has said, let me know if there's going to be any plus ones, if Matt's coming, you know, that kind of thing, so that we can do the numbers for it and let the place know, like, how big of a space to set out. So I was like, oh, okay. So she's like, yeah, so you can come. And I'm like, great. So that means I'm going to go down into town after this. But I tried getting a bus this morning. Nope. Mm -mm. Can't book one because uh, it's like a dial a ride system. You use the app on the phone, kind of like Uber. You tell it where you want picking up, where you want dropping off and roughly what time. And it's like, nah, there's nothing available. So I'm like, shit. I mean, it is getting close to rush hour um, at that time. So, did I just go right past the guy? I did, didn't I? I'm too busy yapping. Sorry, I'm here with uh, some of your materials. I'll get the rest today. Don't worry, I'll be back. Oh, did I just do a little curtsy? You're welcome. Bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> what the hell was that? I'm pressing the control button instead of shift to double tap shift and you auto run so I can just do this. Uh, yeah. So... Yeah, they, um, apparently they're letting plus ones go, but I can't get a bus to take me down to town, so I'm going to have to walk, uh, which is like a 40-odd minute journey. It's like 45 minutes to get to her office, nearly 50. But there's also a, a store in town that I want to go to, and it doesn't open while 11, so the past couple of times I've been in town, I've usually been ready to come home by then, because I've been doing grocery shopping and I get it done early, come back home. Um, that, you know, like I haven't been able to go in, but I want to scout the place out for a gift. So, may go a little earlier and give myself time to do that this time, because they'll still be open. So yeah, um, I'm probably going to head down into town like 2.30. Pretty much right after the stream. So yeah. Busy day. We'll probably finish the stream a little earlier as a result because I have I have to clean this kitchen up. Because we went out yesterday to a parent's uh, place. It was her mom's birthday, so we went to their place and then we had dinner. Uh, and it means that nothing got done here. And once again, I'm getting a notification here that somebody doesn't have tools. So you're going through a pickaxe like at a rate of nearly one a day. What is this? I'm gonna have to tell my um ay ay ay. I'm gonna have to tell the Smithy to make more them faster. Bump the workload intensity all the way to the top. I don't really know. I think that's just as like the maximum they can do. I don't know whether or not that has an effect on the person. Like, do they get unhappy if you over, if you work them at a hundred percent? I don't think they do. Yeah, that sucks. Got to balance the um, the tool requirements. Come to think of it, am I running? the uh, the extraction shed at full capacity yes yeah i'm literally just saying bring stone <laughs> and nothing else just bring loads of stone tons of it wonder dude one thank you for that follow welcome to the channel glad to have you here hope you're enjoying the show hello vibe we're just trying to figure out how to get our tool situation sorted out. I recently, uh, the last stream, recently, two weeks ago, uh, when we streamed this, uh, set up a smithy and an extraction shed, and I seem to be having trouble keeping the extraction shed supplied with pickaxes. This is not good. It's not good at all. So, yeah, I may need to make a few as a, like a little stopgap seems like the uh, the, uh, the extraction shed is going through pickaxes at an, ex uh, an absolutely insane rate. They're using like a whole pickaxe up in a day. And okay, I'm telling them to basically just go ham and bring in all the stone they can muster. But that's 
probably a bit too much. I may need to dial that back as well, but I need lots of stone. We're building stone houses now. I need stone. So, you know, chop chop. <laughs> Get on that. Get me some stone. All right, we need 10 more logs. I do hope you've been able to muster 10 logs up, otherwise I'm going to have to go and chop a couple of trees down and get them. Uh, 19 logs, sweet! Okay, I'll take that. And we're not overweight. Beautiful. Okay. We need to find someone who can do production and get them in the kitchen and start making food for us all as well. How's the flax farm coming along over here? She's sowing seeds. Beautiful. On the last day of spring, we're getting one last crop in. Nice. Look at the farm. Good. I want to get this fence built as well. I need to now build another little fence around this one. Yeah. But yeah, I think... Oh yeah, yeah. It's not even midday yet. She's got all day to get that done. Fantastic. Seems like one person doing farming over that much field it doesn't take them very long at all. If you have shorter seasons, that becomes a bottleneck. It's like, if you have it set to three days, three days for a season, and they've got to get the crop in by the end of the season, they've got to sow the field by the end of the season and so on. Oh yeah, forget about it. It must be spring, because people are out on their Harleys now. <laughs> There's a guy in our building, I think, or maybe it's a guy who is, you know, a boyfriend of someone in our building, but he has this Harley Davidson and he seems to be showing up all the time around spring. And right outside, and it's warm enough to have the balcony door open now. I need it open. It's too warm in here otherwise. So, yeah. Sorry about any traffic noise you guys are picking up on the microphone. But anyway, like I was saying, um, you know, if, if you've only got one person trying to man all those farms, it might take them longer than like three days in a season to do all that. So if the season ends, they, you know, they fall behind and you need more people. But if you have longer seasons, you can get away with having less farmers. <laughs> one farmer. You know? Which is a very hyper-capitalist thing to think about, like, all I need to do is make the year last longer, and I don't need as many people. <laughs> I don't need to pay as many people. <laughs> Only thing you hear is a mellow wolfie. Oh, well, excellent. Yeah, I noticed the traffic usually doesn't get... It doesn't trigger... Because I have a noise gate on the microphone, so it doesn't trigger the noise gate. Like, it's not loud enough to trigger the noise gate. But while I'm talking, and I've... Um, you know, it is loud enough to trigger the noise gate and open the mic. Uh, and then something loud comes past, like that Harley Davidson. I have to shut up. Otherwise, you guys, it's going to be competing, because it's very loud. It's not loud enough to trigger the initial opening of a mic but it will come over the mic nonetheless. Whatever I can hear, the microphone can hear. It's basically what I go with, right? So... Because it's not like a, a noise-canceling unidirectional mic, it's a cardioid. And everything out here, I could walk over to the fridge, just over there, and start talking, and if I'm loud enough, you guys will hear me. It'll pick up. So... Yeah, I, I usually, if I go quiet for a minute, it means that there's a big truck or there's a bike or something going past. There's a couple of people with obnoxiously loud exhaust pipes, not just on their great big Dodge Rams, but also there's, there's a kid with a, um, like, a, I don't know if it's a Lexus? A Lexus saloon car? Um, sedan, rather, I guess. Um, wait, this isn't the right guy, is it? It is, yeah. I have your logs for you. No, he has a... Oh, this is the wrong guy. They've switched jobs? He's over here now being all like, Oh no, my house, what will I do? I have, well, guess what, dude? Here's your materials. I'll show you some building techniques I picked up. Oh, nice. Oh, God, F fucking throwing hands out here. Shit. Bum, ba, 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 bum, bum, ba, 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 bum. We... 
learn some technology, I guess, in building. Let's see, bump this along a little further. We're getting close to resource, resource storage too, which will be very good. Very good indeed. We also unlock a few little schemes for things like wooden shutters for the windows. Which is a nice thing. Um, we've got these like log... We can do log tables and hanging racks and all that shit. How much money do we have? 61 silver. Alright, that's that done for the day. What we will do from now is go and get a bigger backpack if I can. I don't know how much they cost. I have like 1500 silver I think in the house so I'm gonna go and grab a whole whack of that and just take it over to the sewing hut place and see if they can sell me a better backpack. Because this one is shit. <laughs> this is crap. But it's not bad but it could be better. Uh, but yeah like I was saying there's people with like boy racers basically is what I would say. I don't know if that term exists everywhere. If, if I say boy racer, does everybody understand what I mean? Um, you know, people with souped up hot rod cars and shit like that. I always feel that boy racer is a particularly English term and that maybe different countries have a different saying. I know here if I said boy racer, I don't think Canadians would quite understand. Like, what do you mean boy racer? It's like they're probably thinking about like two kids like one like carrying the other on their back and running in like a race or something like in like in <laughs> like in a school um <laughs> you know a school sports day or something like is that what it is like is it like you know egg and spoon racing but with somebody on your back no <laughs> it's you know somebody who has a souped up you know, Fast and Furious style street racer car and then they, you know, drive around making a nuisance of themselves. God, I sound like an old man. I am 43 years old this year, so... It fits. The shoe fits and I will wear it, but damn. Could be better, could have cookies in it, yeah. Sound like, I know, I am an old man. I'm old. God, when did I get so old that I start complaining about youngsters and their noisy cars and their baseball caps on backwards and blah, 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 blah. Mm. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I liked that kind of stuff when I was that age. Can't hate on it, really. But it is damned inconvenient when you live on a, a main road, you know. I'm hoping when we look for a new place to live, uh, once we get out of this tiny little uh, unit that we're living in, in this building, and we actually look for a proper house. We'll try and find one down a quiet street, you know. I've been complaining about youngsters with noisy cars since I was five. Well, that's fair. <laughs> At five year old when you're trying to take your afternoon nap and goes past the house and you're like, fuck, sleeping over here, stop it. Never liked speedsters. Is that what you guys call them, speedsters? People who trick their cars out and put body kits on them and big exhaust pipes and shit. And they get that little turbo hiss that they do, which is usually probably just like a wastegate valve attached to their exhaust, so it's really fake. You can always tell, and it's like, you're not fooling anybody. You do not have a turbo in that dinky little piece of shit car that you've got. No way. Oh, I've got 1800 silver. Okay, well I'm gonna take like 800, uh, yeah, 800 of it is probably more than enough. I need to fill these washing basins as well. Okay, I've noticed the uh, warning about no pickaxes is gone now from up there. Good. Less about that, the noise hurts my ears. Oh really? So do you have like, um, like tinnitus or something? Because I have a little bit of that as well, like sudden loud noises really do kind of, I feel like this pulse in my ears like a throb like not not very big you've got a sensory disorder aha okay yeah well that would make sense as well if it like if it really screws with your inner ear or something so does what does it do for you does it like cause you to feel off balance or something so i mean the ear is like the balance center of, of your body as well right the inner ear so does it does it screw with that or does it kind of like cause pain or muffle 
High heat, loud noises, touch and shit causes pain. Oy. Yeah, that's no good then. Yeah. I mean, I don't get pain as such. I just get, um, like, this pulse in my ear. You know, like, there's this... As though somebody's just flicked my eardrum with their finger. With, like, any really loud, sudden... Boom. Not deep loud noises, but, like higher end loud noises like if somebody's playing music too loud on a speaker that is not very good quality for instance and it's kind of loud some of the high notes and what have you really do like make it makes it feel like somebody's whacking the side of my head like that like with the cup of their hand and you get that pressure burst it's that that kind of feeling not severe just very minor but it's there and i've had it all my life so it's not full-blown as bad as it could be, but it's annoying. It's annoying to live with. We gotta go be a dwarf with a friend galactically. Have fun. No problem. Have a good day, my dude. Thank you again for the resub. Appreciate you with that support, as always. And we'll see you next time. I'll be playing Guild Wars Icebrood Saga tomorrow, so feel free to drop by and see more of the game if you're interested in it. Hello, Matilda. Show me your wares. I would like from you... Do we want any new clothes while we're here? There's a large pouch. It's 10 kilo weight limit. That's interesting. Stacks with a backpack and can be used to increase carry weight. That's 390. So that must go into a different section. Then there's a 6 kilo version there for 270. And we've got the saddlebags. We don't have a donkey yet. A simple backpack, 15 kilo weight. What we've got right now is the simple small. That's the simple regular and simple large is 20 kilo. That's 570. That's going to double the backpack capacity that we have. Are there any other backpacks? That's it. If we want better, I think we have to make them ourselves, because this is by no means the full list of available stuff. Um, <clears throat> so for 570, I can get the simple large backpack for 20 kilo limit. take that could then buy a six kilo pouch at the very least i don't have enough for a lot i need another 99 silver for that which i could go and get maybe i'll do that maybe i'll not buy this pouch for now actually no i'll buy it for now it'll do for now see you soon yes you will but not if i see you first Mwahaha. I will now swap out that backpack. Yes. And then I guess the pouch goes somewhere. I don't really know how to use the pouch. Yeah, it goes there. Okay, that's the pouch. Yo! Let's call me Trader Rasimir. Got a little bit of fur look and a bedroll. Nice. Perfect. I want to make these lamps. They they take a lot of extra resources that we don't have right now, but I could go and buy, I suppose. Again, you know, don't wait until you're able to produce certain things. Just buy the things you don't have, and it, it generally all works out. Oh, while I was here, I was going to look at whoever's hanging around. I found a fisherman released over in Gustavia. But what I need are two people for production, as well as a fisherman. Let's have a look. We've got one for extraction and production. And a production and trade. Okay. Samboja. Hello, friend. Hello. Have you heard anything interesting recently, or where can I find out? No, I'm creating a new settlement. That's what I want. All right, head on over there. Ambosia. Now, where do we want to put her? Um, Ambosia needs a house. I have a house ready for you, because I just finished one. 
nice stone house. But where do we want to put her for work? She's production. I could stick her in the kitchen. And I don't think the kitchen needs anything other than food. And that means I don't need to go making food anymore. Because it can get a little bit annoying after a while. Um, I will need to bring ingredients for stuff that we don't grow yet. But we're about to harvest... I don't know if next month we'll harvest the wheat we will, but I don't think we'll be harvesting much of anything else. The other stuff might not be till autumn. And then we'll have cabbages, carrots, and onions aplenty. Um, so I could put her in the kitchen or I could put her in the workshop. And then she could make trade goods for us. But I think the kitchen would be better. So, Samboja get to work there. What do I need Samboja to do? I need her to make potage and there's two versions. This is a thing you need to check. Like, why is roast meat on here twice? Well, one is with raw meat, one is with salted meat, which we don't have, we're not making. So I will tell Samboja to maybe make like two roast meat a day. And then potage, again, with meat or salted. Tell them to make... I don't have enough... I'm going to have to go and uh, put everything where it needs to be because all the plates and bowls are not in the, um, in the resource storage. They're in the actual food storage, which is the wrong place, so she doesn't know where they are. And then it will let me see... Like, if I set it to 10%, how many am I telling her to make? I don't know. So, it generally helps. Everything's set up and ready and they have all the tools they need. Otherwise, you don't really know what you're setting up. I, I That's one thing I don't really like in the way that the game is set up. And I kind of wish they would patch out and change. Because this game's still in early access. You know, there's plenty of bandwidth for more development on the game. Um... I would like them to make it so that when you're setting up work orders and if they don't have all the materials, I would still like to know how much they're going to make for when they have materials that they need. Like, how far along are they going to get the job done on a daily cycle? You know? But it does mean right now I have to go run all the way back there and do this myself. Hmm. But it's about to turn to summer. That's a good thing. Progressing on to another season. And we just got our upgraded carry capacity. We can carry 61 kilo of stuff now instead of 45. Oh, oh, that's going to be nice. No more limping around town with overburdened weight. And we have a load of trade goods to sell, so that's going to be the first day of summer, is going to sell all that crap, because I now have 29.2 silver left in my inventory, so... Alright, so... Over here... So while I was doing the cooking, it just kind of made sense that I would keep all these bowls and plates in here, and then I can come here and get them, right? It just made sense to me. But now that I've got an NPC doing it, they'll fetch stuff from wherever it's supposed to belong, and plates and bowls are supposed to go in the resource storage, and that's food storage. Two different types of thing. So, if you're playing this game and you do have problems, like with your NPCs and saying they don't have stuff that you know exists in your town, check what type of storage it's being kept in. Because the odds are it's in the wrong place. Now, this is interesting though. We have tons of plates and not a lot of bowls. So I'm gonna grab a couple of logs. I'm going to turn those into bowls. 
Boom. And you get five bowls for each log, so that just gave me ten new bowls. And now they will have plenty of bowls to work with. Boom. And as they get used, they lose durability over time. Like, these two wooden plates are at 30%. They were probably the original plates that we got. They might have been the plates we got the basic meal in. That you start the game with. So, manage. Let's do this again. That's the wrong place. <laughs> manage. Here we go. Know what I'm doing. Aff. Uh, so we will want them to make... Half a potage a day. Half a stew a day. Maybe. This builds up really fast. If you've got loads of different types, you will eventually need like maybe three different kitchens making different types of food on a daily basis. I want them to carry on making the mushroom soups. Maybe get them used up. Just make a mushroom soup a day. A meat with gravy. Well. Hmm. So that's put them to the halfway mark, and then all of these are locked off. I haven't unlocked the recipes yet. Maybe I should uh, go get some coinage. But if on a daily basis they spit out like six different types of meal there, I'm happy with that. That's a lot of food. It's going to take two days for them to get there, but still. Uh, just grab a bunch of my spare coin that I was saving up last year. Come over here and have a look. See what we can actually unlock. So, meat with gravy. I could unlock a scrambled egg and scrambled egg with morel mushrooms, but it's nearly the end of summer. Uh, spring, sorry. Morels are going to disappear tomorrow, so no point. We'll worry about that next year. We could have them make cheese. Well, we could have them make quark, which I don't think we, we need to go and buy. So I'm not going and buying soured milk on a regular basis. Uh, porridge, oats, and wooden bowls. And uh, gruel is rye grain. We're not growing rye, so I'm not, I'll, I'm, we're not growing oats, but I will eventually. But we'll go and buy a bunch of oat grain. Be fine. I'll unlock porridge. Soup styles. What have we got? Beetroots. Hmm. And then these mushroom soups as well. Wait a minute. Oh no, that's not locked. I'm like, why is that locked? It's not locked. Vegetable soup we don't know how to make yet. So we could make a standard soup with beetroot and meat as well. I'm going to unlock that for now. I like that it gives you both. That's pretty good. You don't need to unlock it twice because one's with salted meat, which lasts longer. Uh, but we cannot afford that yet. Is there anything on the grill? Nope. We, that's all unlocked. And then breads. They're locked, but they're behind technology points. That's no good. Hi! This is your workplace. Do go feel free to inspect it. There's only a slight fire in there. Oh, you're going home? Okay. Well, that's cool. We'll see you tomorrow. You, uh, you just go rest up, I guess. Hmm. So, let's just make sure we've got enough of stuff coming in, because the meat with gravy requires roasted meat, the others require raw meat. This is going to need 6 meat a day. We get like 50 meat a day, 60 meat a day. It's cool. Get loads of meat. Demands of 0.61 roast meat per day. And there's already plenty in there, so we don't need them to do that much. Let's just tell them to do 0.91 roast meat per day. And then it will slowly build up over time. Without going over, because, you know, 
We could eat the roast meat, but it's better to eat the actual food that you make with the roast meat because it gives you more nutrition and it's less resource waste then. Like somehow, if you combine a carrot that has, let's say, plus five nutrition and you combine two of those, so that's 10 nutrition worth of carrots, and then you combine one row or you combine one raw meat, which is also plus five, that's 15 nutrition worth of food, right? And it comes out at like 25 nutrition. So you create more by combining the ingredients instead of eating the actual raw ingredients. It's going to need 1.83 onions per day. That's right, because it needs like a roast meat and three onions or something stupid. So, yeah. This is a very good screen to go to every now and then. You can see how much stuff you need on a daily basis. You know, I think actually then in that case... I'm going to tell them to make a potage a day. Stew a day. Plenty of bandwidth for it. NPCs won't eat this stuff as quick as I do either, so... And then there are other variants here with the salted meat, the soup. We don't have beetroot. I could go and buy some. And we will also have beetroot soup. That might be useful. I'll stick it up to... It's probably going to come out the same, right? Uh, let's see, potage and stew require 13 and 15% to get to 1. So we'll just put this to 15% as well. I'll go buy some beetroot tomorrow. Should be good. Porridge needs oat grain. We have enough oat grain for two. Make me a porridge a day as well. That's 77% of the workload. Whee! Oh boy. Scrambled egg. I could go and buy eggs. I'm going to put that to like 10%. I don't know how much that's going to do until I actually go buy them. So I guess we're going to need to buy beetroot and egg. That's our shopping list for tomorrow. Dump it all in there and that's it. Everybody's good. Why not get your own animals? It's a big endeavor. Um, if you want them, uh, well, first of all, you need to unlock the animal husbandry. We do have a hen house, and I'm thinking I need to do this very soon, is get a hen house made. Absolutely, and a pigsty. But the animals cost a lot of money. Pigs are like 1,750 silver uh, per pig. So you've got to go and buy them, and, you know, then they'll appear in your pig pen. Then you've got to feed them. <laughs> Which means you need a, a quantity of animal feed every day. In order to make the animal feed over in the barn, if I go and have a look at the recipe, it requires a lot of stuff, which I will then need to go and buy in, or I'm going to need to go and buy animal feed. So it needs oat and rye grain and straw combined together to make an animal feed. And you'll probably need like 10 of that per day for your pigs and stuff. So, yeah. It's one of those things I'd rather be self-sufficient in than going to buy animal feed on a regular basis. What? I keep forgetting to cancel the subscription. <laughs> Tough. No refunds. <laughs> Alchemist, thank you for the sub. Dude, how's life today? How are things treating you? Hope everything's well. We were going to make those fireplaces today, weren't we? Hmm. It's a worry. Probably look at that. I don't want your dirty money anyway. <laughs> nice to see you. Hope everything's well. Uh, we needed... 12 of these, and what was it? Six firewood or eight? Remember... We'll take eight firewood, just in case. We can always put it back. And we will make... It was six, okay. We will make a fire. Fire good. Put it over here. Boom. There we go. And I will light it. Boom. There we go. We now have a fire in our front yard. Sweet. And we'll do that for everybody as well. Everybody will get a fireplace. I mean, I could also just say, let's make a ring of uh, 
benches around here and put a fireplace in there, because I was going to put the tavern in here, I think. Or were we going to put the tavern further over there? I think further over there. Honestly, not having a great time today. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. Having a Monday. That's, that's no good. Hopefully we can help with that with some quality entertainment and mellow vibes. I didn't have too good of a time this morning, actually, or really early this morning. Like, I don't know what time it was, probably 4 or 5 a.m. My calf muscle in my left leg cramped up while I was shifting around in bed a little bit. Uh, it was really hot last night, so I was trying to get some air under the sheets, and just as I lifted my leg up, bring everything cramped up, and yeah, then of course I started, like, muffled screaming into the pillow because of the pain, and uh, that woke Shy up. Well, it didn't really wake her up. She's been she's not been sleeping well at all. I can't complain. She slept until like 12.30. She was awake, like just wide awake. And that's been going on for like a week and a half, nearly two weeks for her now. She hasn't slept through the night for nearly two weeks. And it's really, really uh, taking its toll. And hoping that now that tax season's done, the stress of it, she will actually sleep. The D&D group I was able to scrape together has basically fallen apart before we could do the first session zero. Oh no! Oh that sucks, and you, you spent a lot of time working on that, right? So, yeah. That's never good when that happens. It, it is hard to get a group and keep a group, but once you've got it, it's, it's like gold, right? It's like gold dust. Okay, so we've got no events between now and summer. I'm gonna save it real quick. Yeah, it's like a rare thing. And it is summertime! Let's go have a look at the croppage. What's going on here? Are these ready to harvest already? Oh my god, the co oh, the cabbages are ready already! And the onions are! Oh, they take one season to grow? Fantastic! And all the wheat is ready as well. Requires a scythe. Oh no. Oh shit, is this ready too? Requires a scythe. Um, We've got sickles. I thought they were like a lesser scythe. I'm gonna go and grab one and put it in my inventory and see if that is usable. Otherwise, I've got to go all the way to Lesnica to go to the blacksmith and buy a couple of scythes. Do I need to put it on my toolbar and brandish it? Okay, no, that that's that's now gone away. Cool. Okay, so we do have the correct tools for the job. I will put this back for now. Because I think I'm telling my blacks uh, blacksmith to make... Uh, scythes as well, right? No, I'm not. And I probably should have, but they're working at flat-out 100% capacity, so I'll, I'll have to tolerate going and buying those. Or making them myself, when the workstation's free. That's a possibility. So yeah, that's my sob story. I'm sitting here trying to figure out what to do next. Now, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, because you were looking forward to that as well. And you did a bunch of prep for it and everything. It does suck. Sucks a lot. If you don't mind me asking, what happened to make it fall apart? Like, did the... Um... Was there a fallout within the group, or was it just a case of nobody had the schedule that they thought they had, like schedule conflicts happened and stuff? Uh, what am I doing? I'm looking for a, something to do, actually. I need sticks. That's what. I was going to carry on making fences. Grab that many. I need to leave a bunch in there so that the blacksmith has some stuff to work with. This place generates sticks as well, but... Yeah.
We've got a fence over here that still needs to be done. Trying to get a group together for two years. Yeah. I mean, I can relate. I've had those problems as well. Like, they're never good. Like, I wanted to play tabletop roleplay for ages and wanted to get a group together for ages and, and I tried with some people that I was in a volunteer group with and we kind of hit and miss and then games we started would barely last three or four sessions so and then we'd have some people who joined us for a game and then they'd duck out and then they never came back and we didn't have a full group we were lucky to get like three people together for it and it's like we can't keep playing like this so yeah we stopped so I, I can sympathize, I know it sucks, especially when you spend ages, and I'm, I'm very thankful now to be in a group that gets together on a regular basis, although having said that, I had to duck out on them for yesterday's session, because it was my mother-in-law's birthday and we went to her place for, uh, you know, basically for her birthday and had lunch and, well, had dinner and everything. So, yeah, we were, um, I keep throwing hands here, I keep, my finger keeps twitching on the left mouse button and then this shit happens and I'm like, Ugh. and then I have to reload. But yeah, so I didn't get to play with them yesterday, but it, you know, that happens every now and then, but generally all together we keep the set, we keep the group together and we've played so many different games now together. I do hope you're able to find the group like that at some point. I mean, I've thought about, uh, we were talking about it in Discord, right? Uh, I know Yoshi was talking about it, uh, getting a, um, like a D&D group together every, uh, for like a special one-off session. Might be something at the very least. I might consider doing that with Ryutama rather than D&D. Because I have no experience, well, I have very little experience GMing any game other than, uh... Apocalypse World. I'm gonna say Wasteland, and I'm like, that's not right. It's not Wasteland. What is it? Apocalypse World. Which is a cool system as well, you know. Um, doesn't really necessarily lend itself well to a one-shot. Not, not from what I've seen. It needs to be something with a more sustained three or four episode campaign at the very least, but I'm gonna give it some thought, and if I can put a, a session together, you're more than welcome to jump in and we'll try and make it work. Oh god, I'm collecting Deadly Nightshade here. What am I doing? <laughs> Don't eat that. But I will keep you appraised. If we do get a group together, or if you want to GM a one-shot for the for people in the in the, in the Discord, you know, I'm up for it. See if we can make it work and get some people interested and if it becomes a regular group as well, that's also a good thing. I don't know if I can squeeze a regular group into my schedule anymore, because I have a regular group. But we'll we'll, uh, we'll definitely look at doing a one-shot, if nothing else. Then you can scratch that itch, right? Scratch the itch. One of the players keeps going MIA, and now one of the other players has just lost interest because of it. Oh, I see. That's how it's gone. You've got more experience than me. Yeah, I mean, my... My uh, Apocalypse World didn't really go very well, but we had a guy in the group who was very experienced in all manner of different things. We had, I had a couple of guys, actually. There was one, he was experienced, but he was very cool, and he was happy to sit back and let me do my thing. The other guy was backseaty, and uh, a little manipulative as well, I think, looking back on it. I think to myself, this guy took advantage of my inexperience to rules lawyer every now and then, but he did it outside the session by contacting me later and being like, so I feel like my character should have this because I think this is the way it's supposed to work. And since I knew he was more experienced, I thought, okay, sure. If it helps the game move along cool, we'll do that. So I said, yeah, we'll make that happen. And then I look back and I think, he really just wanted me to give him more overpowered shit. His character, instead of him earning it. And I know I wasn't playing the game correctly as well. Um, I was playing it with a traditional, you know, the group is a group kind of deal, whereas Apocalypse World is more like everybody's supposed to be an independent character, and you play them against each other. You know, you find ways to put them... It works with conflict. You know, you put them at conflict with each other. Not, se not serious conflict, just 
conflicts of interest and I, I couldn't build that up and I was approaching it from the wrong angle and having the group versus the game as opposed to the group versus each other and then the game in the mix which is how it should be done so maybe next time if I come at Apocalypse World again I haven't looked at it in so long I got the second um, edition I don't even know if there's a third edition or beyond but I'll, I'll have a look at it and Ryutama I've been poring over the rule book and I want to run it for our group that I've got right now so you know maybe a practice session with people in the discord could be good for me why does my person here have oh they get they're gonna give me this shit because they don't have um, beetroot and they don't have eggs right I can ignore that warning but this uh, extraction shed does they have stuff that's fine the fishing hut nobody's working there yet. that's fine the barn nobody's working there that's fine what is wrong with these oh they're just not built okay i just have two warnings above me for two production problems and i don't know why i have those one, it's probably because there's two instances of no resources in the um, food hut. I kind of wish that icon up there was a little bit more succinct. All right. And having these backpacks is great. I have so much carry space now. Carrying like 190 odd sticks or whatever. Which would be just at the limit close to it oh did i oh we're doing this one over here that's right i remember but yeah i don't know maybe a special occasional apocalypse world game ryotama game would be pretty good and I love, I love Apocalypse World more because of the simplicity of the rule set. Like, everybody has a common pool of things they can do and ask, and then there's playbook-specific skills that they unlock over time. There's only three stats to every character that covers everything, and everything is resolved with two d6 dice roll. And it's the same thresholds of success. It's, you know, if you get one, two, seven... I think, or is it one to five? I can't remember, but it's like, let's say it's one to seven, is you don't get what you want. And I get to do, you know, if it's like a double one, it's a critical fail and I get to really put the screws to you, you know. But uh, then, oh no, I've run out of hammer. My hammer is broken. Do I have a spare? I, I don't think my smithy has made a full spare yet. So yeah, like, you know, then from like an 8, 9, and 10 is a success. I think it's like up to 5 is a fail, and then it's a partial success where it's like something happens, you get what you want, but there's a consequence. And then there's a full success threshold where you just get what you want. And then there's a critical success threshold where you get what you want and more. You know, and it's the same for everything. It doesn't matter what what obstacle you're facing. There's no difficulty leveling. It's the, the difficulty is just beat the dice roll. And you add your stat to it. And that's it, basically. And you, your stats go from like minus three to plus three. And it's so simple, you know, especially for people getting into it. Uh, wooden hoe. No wooden hammer. Oh no, I'm gonna have to make one then. Log. And I have plenty of sticks to make a hammer. So, I don't know, I'd like to do that for you guys, I guess. I could put together a little thing. The good thing is, as well, you don't need to prep with this this system. Same with Ryotama. Session zero is you guys building the world together and there's a bunch of questions that the GM should be asking. Like, what is the apocalypse? Like, what happened to this world? What what does it look like? And I've seen several games where some people have said it was literally Mad Max style and the water receded and there was resource wars and now everybody lives in like a desert or something. Another person was like, it's zombies. Um, but kind of like zombies like Crossed, like the comic book series, if anybody's familiar with Crossed, which is 
kind of like a more high functioning version of 28 Days Later zombies where they're just rage zombies, but they're very foul and gross and, you know, very callous. Like people just become basically murderous rape machines. It's rather, gr it's a bit, it's a crude comic series, you know, but uh, an interesting idea. And everybody has this like red scar that forms like a plus sign on their face. Very, very weird. So, you know, one guy I saw running a one-shot did that. Uh, another one did a water world type thing where the world had flooded a little bit, but it wasn't full-on water world. Um, it was more like, you know, like the waters rose by a few feet and lowlands are now like wetlands and marshes and the like, and people had to get around um, like these all the different islands. That was a pretty cool one, because then, you know, because there's a vehicle system in the game where you can have you know, boats, you can have cars, and you get to decide what the factors are of them. Like, they have flaws and they have strengths, and you work with the players to create those. And then everybody, like, tries to do their own thing. Some of the character types are very good, uh, the playbooks. I remember there was one where the playbook was quite literally, you are the pillar of the society. So whatever the, you know, you know like the holding uh, guy, I forgot what, what they're called. Um, like every settlement would be called like a hold fast or something. So you were the holder. I think that's what it was just called, the holder. It meant that you ran the settlement. I should probably stop swinging this hammer and let my character recover his stamina. <laughs> So you ran the settlement, but that gave you like various capabilities and things you should do in order to stay in charge. And you needed to meet those criteria, you know, like otherwise you could be ousted, which means you changed to a different playbook. And then there was a playbook that was specifically around driving. So most of your skills were with the use of a vehicle. And then there's this psychic aspect to the game as well where there's this thing called the psychic maelstrom and basically people could tap into it to do the weird stuff there we go that's a whole bunch of fence made 